DJ Pro Q tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and we're going to talk about it. The Q section of the playlist is a section that I feel like not enough people use and not enough people take advantage of it. So in this video, I am going to show you guys how to access it, what you could use it for, and a couple of creative ideas for this feature. So here we go. Let's get started. I'm using my mouse so you can see exactly where I'm pointing. So to access the Q section, we're going to press the music button. And then here we will just be in our regular playlist. And then if you want to change your sources, title, or whatever streaming service you use, you could do that over here. And But we're not going to be talking about these playlists. I made a lot of videos on how to make specific playlists and how to make all these different playlists. But in this video, we're talking about Q. So when you're in this screen and you look down here, there is no button to access the Q. With the new features that they added with the new updates, they had to fit some stuff in. So they made the Q section over here. So it says history now, but if you pre if you see that there's little arrows, up and down arrows, if you press this button, you could cycle through. So you could access the match feature, which I made a video about that. You could access auto mix, which I made a lot of videos about, and then you could access the Q. So now we are in the Q section. So if you don't see it when you load up the, the app, just remember that this has like a cycle menu and you could go to the Q that way. Now the Q is more like a save it for later. Like if you're DJing, you're doing a gig and you think of a song, oh, I'm going to play that later or someone gives you a request, you could put it into your Q section. Now the cool thing about the Q section is if you have this setting selected, which I think is general. Jump to Q, protect up. To, um, if you go over here, uh, is it general sound? Appearance, I think it would be in the library, obviously. So if we go over here, it says options, remove songs when played. So anytime you play one of these songs, so if you look up here, it has Savage is there. If you load up one of these songs and then play it, it'll be gone. Now we go back to the queue. It's still there. The reason why it's still there is because the app knows that there was no sound coming out. So if we put a little bit of sound coming out and we have the crossfader to the middle or at least some of the sound coming out and then we play it, So now we played it for a little bit, and then we go over here and you see it's gone. So this helps you from repeating songs in your set. As a DJ, you never wanna be a song repeater and play one song multiple times throughout the night. So that helps you over here. So now we are in our cue section. So up here, this is our music sources. So we could go to our streaming services and then we could search for songs. Let's just go hip hop, search for songs. And then we press these three dots and you could add to favorites, you could add to queue, or you could add to playlist. But we're talking about the queue. So we're going to do add to queue. And also you have access to preview the song so you could hear it in your headphones or you could just listen to it before you add it to a playlist. Make sure it's right. So now we're going to add it to queue. And now we go back over here. Back. We switch from auto mix to queue. And then now the song in a minute is in our queue. So that's how you add songs. It's very easy. And you could also press this button up here. And then this will be select songs. And then you could go through whatever source you want to use to find it, find songs to add. So you could either go here, click through, and then find it. Or you could press plus, and then you could add the songs. For some reason, it starts you out in your native music library. This is not Apple Music streaming service. This is just iTunes, whatever you have downloaded onto your device. And then you could add songs that way. Also over here, if you click on the songs, you see nine songs there, 27 minutes. It's a good idea to know how much time these songs are gonna take. So it tells you how much minutes each with the songs. So if we press this button over here, we could delete all, 
we could add all these songs from the queue to a playlist and then we'll pick a playlist and then add it. So if you guys are just trying to create a quick playlist or if you're at work or something and you're listening to music on headphones and you're discovering new music, you could put it in the queue and then you could add them all to your playlist. And then we could analyze the songs. Sometimes songs from streaming services or different types of, of sources, when you load them into a deck, it doesn't know the BPM, it doesn't know the key, and it doesn't know some of these features. So by analyzing the songs, it gets you all the information that you're gonna need. So that's a very easy way to analyze the songs and know the BPM. Now, if we press over here, we could search. And then if we press edit, now we could select these songs. So we could select, select these songs, and then you could delete these songs. You could analyze these specific songs or you could add these to a specific playlist, or you could deselect all or select all. So you don't have to press the button, you could just hit select all, and then they will all be selected. So edit over here, and then actions, and then we can select all. So now all of them are selected and you could delete them. You could add them to a playlist. You could do whatever you want to do. Now, uh, now done. So now we have our queue. And then also if you want to delete songs, you could slide them over and delete songs like this, just like in the regular playlist. And then if you press this button here, if you guys are wondering how to make the music selection screen bigger, that's how you do it. You press that, and then now we could press this button over here, which moves stuff over, and now we're in our queue. So we could be in our regular playlist over here. So we're in our regular playlist on over here, and then we could see our queue over here. and cues over here. So it makes this bigger. You don't have to do the cycling menu because it has your regular playlist over here. And then now you could do your recent song history. You could do match, you could do auto mix, and then you have access to your cue section over here. So, and then if you want to go back, you press back. And then it's like that. And then we could also click out and if you're wondering how to get back to the regular small view of the queue or any type of library, you press this button over here. And now we're back to the screen that we were used to. So if you guys learned something, give this video a like. Let me know in the comments what you use the queue section for. I know a lot of people use them for different stuff. And also if you have any questions, let me know. I try to get back to all the questions. And if you like learning about everything there is to know about DJ Pro and DJing with the iPad, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I make DJ videos just about every day.